morning and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight we're going to be making a delicious balsamic glazed chicken and vegetables and it's all going to be cooked in one pan. It's going to take about 20 minutes to make and you're going to love it. So let's see how we make this. started on our balsamic glazed chicken and vegetables and the first thing we're going to have to do is season up our chicken. I have a half a dozen really beautiful trimmed and cleaned organic chicken breasts and I got these and they were really beautiful. They were already cryo sealed and everything. This is the way I like to get them because um, I know what I'm getting. I'm familiar with this particular brand. But um, all we're going to do with this is we're going to season up this chicken really easy and then I'll go over the vegetables that we're going to put in the pan. After we sear off this chicken, we're going to set it off to the side to rest. And we're going to roast or pan, you know, we're going to saute off some vegetables in the same pan with the cooking liquid um, and juices from the chicken. What I have here are a couple of pints of cherry tomatoes. I have red and orange. I have one can of artichoke hearts. And this is what they look like. This is a 13 and 3 quarter ounce can of artichoke hearts. And these are whole when you get them. I have cut mine in half just because they're more manageable. Now artichoke hearts are rich, so I did only use one can. And I have two zucchini that I have washed and chunked up. I have a handful of fresh basil, about four cloves of garlic that has been minced, and I have an eight ounce container of cremini mushrooms that is sliced. So that's what we're going to cook off after we do the chicken. I'm gonna set that off to the side, and we're gonna season up our meat. And I have my balsamic vinegar, of course. And we're gonna season up our chicken really simple. I'm gonna use some onion powder, some garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, and some of my sedged chicken rub, because that has salt and pepper and other delicious flavors in it as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. There's garlic powder. And I, um, I like to be liberal with my seasonings because I think that the worst thing in the world is under seasoned food. And you want all these things to come through. And you're going to just do this as simply as you want to. If you don't like some of these things, then don't use them. But all of these things are going to complement each other. And when we put the balsamic on there, it's going to be great. And, hmm? What was that? That was Italian seasoning. And then some of this chicken rub that has paprika and more garlic and onion powder. It has a little bit of sugar. It has hot pepper, it has black pepper, it's beautiful stuff. And because I don't want to waste, I don't want to get my hands dirty for one thing. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to season up the other side. repeat this all over again and I'll meet you back at the stove. All right we're over at the stove and I have in my extra large cast iron skillet about two tablespoons each of butter and olive oil and the butter is for flavor and the olive oil is for fun. Well it's for it's you know high heat tolerant and all of that good junk but I have my largest skillet in here and I'm just going to put my chicken I'm going to put the pretty side down first, and I'm going to let this cook off. And then we're going to turn it a couple of times. And then when we come back, we're going to go ahead and cook the veggies. So, um, you know how to cook chicken breasts, I hope. I'll bring you back when it's time to flip this, just in case I've got some new folks who've never done this and they want to make sure they're doing it right. I have a lot of new cooks who, you know, tell me that they love how I do step by step and I don't want to leave anything out. So when it's time to turn these over, I'm going to give these about three to five minutes on the one side 
and then we're going to come back and we're going to flip them. So we'll be back when it's time to do that. All right, we've been about five minutes, and now I'm going to flip these over. Now, during the time that we, you were away, I did actually move these around a little just to get even cooking, because you know, when you use a cast iron skillet, all the heat is concentrated in the center, and every pan is different. Every pan has its own little idiosyncrasies. Some, uh, I'll, every single cast iron skillet has a hot spot. It's your job to learn over time where your pan sweet spot is. Um, this one is pretty, actually pretty even, but its real sweet spot is right here in the center and over here on this side. So it's kind of like over here and right in the middle. Back over here is very, very unpredictable and you kind of have to move things around so everything cooks even, but you know you'll, you're, you will know your pan better than anyone. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish cooking these on the other side, another three to five, and then we'll come back and we'll start glazing with our balsamic. Okay, our chicken is just about done, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with some balsamic, and, and then we're going to turn it and get it nice and glazy. I'm just going to let it hang out for a minute. And then we're going to remove it off to the side. You don't need but a couple of tablespoons of the balsamic. That's it. And it's going to make the chicken delicious. See, just like that. You see how it's getting nice and thick. And it's mixing with all of those um, brown bits from the bottom of the pan. And it's going to be lovely. Now, I'm going to move this off to the side. I switched out the foil on my pan so we have a nice clean surface. You want these pieces of meat to rest a bit. Now, we're going to hit this with a little more olive oil. Just a skosh. Just that much. Give this a good stir. We're not going to waste any of this flavor. It's going to be wonderful. Now we're going to bring over our veggies. We hit this with the garlic and get that in there. I'm going to set my basil off to the side because that will go in last. And toss my mushrooms in. Now I don't have any onions going in here. And that's just a personal preference. If you want to put onions in here, then you go right ahead. Um, Micah doesn't really like onions that much, and I thought I would give her a break tonight. <laughs> but the other stuff is all going in here now. I've got to turn my pan up just a little bit. And we're just going to cook all of this until the tomatoes start to burst and the zucchini is soft and the mushrooms have cooked down just a little bit. So, when it's time, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, our vegetables are all finished and they created a little bit of their own sauce with the pan drippings from the chicken, the balsamic vinegar, the olive oil and the butter. And I have to tell you how this is, it is a party in your mouth, it's so delicious. Now, I'm gonna, uh, I boiled up some pasta, so we have some angel hair pasta. This has just been boiled, and there's a little bit of butter on here. I'm gonna go plate, fix you a plate, because I know you're hungry, and we'll be right back. We'll meet you back at the counter, and I'll show you what this looks like. There you have it, a beautiful plate. I mean, I have to tell you folks, we've already tasted this, and it is out of this world, and I can't wait to sit down and eat dinner. We've got a bed of angel hair pasta that's just perfectly buttered. We have uh, surrounded it with those sautéed vegetables and topped it off with a perfectly cooked chicken breast that is glazed with that balsamic and those wonderful spices. So I sprinkled it off with a little bit of fresh basil. Of course, that's your choice. Put some parsley, give it a little bit of a squeeze of lemon. It would be absolutely divine. So I hope that this gives you a wonderful idea for supper sometime in the near future. I hope that you try this, and I hope that you love it. And until next time... I'll see ya! Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. 
Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, NareensKitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!